What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to our exciting episode of Tech Productions. Today, I'm back on Joy once again to kind of go over something different. Um, today, I'm going to talk about a deck I'm looking forward to, which is actually the Sun Gohan and Trunks deck. When we had the yellow version back in like set 13, it was absolutely fell in love with it, just that it was different. And we're getting the duo back, but this time as a red card or a red deck. So I was kind of going to just go over my take on it. I did do two different versions of it. I did kind of like my archetype build, which is kind of basing off majority of the set and then just additional good red cards that kind of go with it that I, ha I own. But I also made my personal take on it. And I kind of just want to go over the archetype in general. Um, starting with the leader, it's always good when a leader has the ability to search. That way you're, you're getting cards to your hand when you need them. So we'll look for any uh, red sand or earthling card that you can shuffle your deck afterwards, which is kind of nice. The awaken is when your life is four or less or when you have two or more energy and it destroy the west city in your battle area. It is a hybrid leader, so you get the fun draw one resand energy for future stuff. The max side of this card kind of changes a lot to the way this deck will function now. So it has an activate main with the turn. You can place up to one red sand card from uh, your hand under destroyed West City in your battle area, and you get to draw two cards, which is just really good for just kind of putting cards that you're going to use later on the road in a said place, and then you get to add more cards to your hand. This deck has a lot of ways of just kind of drawing cards or more or less cycling. You're putting cards that are good in one way, but necessarily need in your hand somewhere else to add more resources to your hand. The activate main slash battle, you place one of your Z energies in your drop. During this turn, the next time you see, uh, sorry, the next time you use an activate skill on a red sun Gohan future or a trunk future card in your battle area or combo, you reduce the skill by one cost. It isn't specified, but it's still fine because a lot of these cards can give you really good effects. And the four main cards, you're kind of just chucking underneath um, this Z battle card, which let's go over the Z battle card first. So we have the destroyed West City, which uh, does Z sack the time machine underneath, which is kind of nice for this deck. But if your leader is um, Sun Gohan Future or Gotenks, uh, sorry, Gohanks Xeno, um, or the Android 17 or 18, you reduce this cost by five, so making a 1-1 one, one to play it. And then the activate main, so you just place one red sand or Android card from your hand under this card, and you draw one card. The cards we're going kind of talk about here are the four trunks. So the first one is powerful uh, sentiments. They all have the exact same activate battle skill, which is all limit one. So initially you could get a 20k combo power by proccing all of them. They're all underneath your leader. So it's kind of a nice way of, like I said, you're putting cards underneath them for later on the road. That can be a powerful attack, defensive plays, or in some cases getting double strike or crit. So the active battle is just if you're if your red sun gohan future or trunks future card is in a battle, use this card for him under a destroyed West City in your combo area. That is free to do, like I said, but it is a limit one. Then activate battle for this figure card. Um, if your leader is the Gohan or Gohanks, Go it gives it double strike for the battle. And that like I said, that could be be free. And we do have a crit version of that as well. And then the other two trunks have a little bit different effects. So one of them gives the ability to give a card barrier in a turn. So if you want to keep a card alive, it's kind of nice to activate battle combo this card from underneath the Z battle card, or sorry, Z extra card. And then you get to immediately activate the secondary effects. You've already said proc the leader's ability. And then now you give a card barrier. So it's just protected, which is pretty nice. The last trunks makes this a little better, especially if you're, say if your opponent is going for a game and they combo out and then you could proc all four of these trunks. Gives you a difference of 25k because this one is actually a battle. Uh, when this card is, if you're Red Sun Gohan, go, all right. The activate battle on this like, card is that if your Red Sun Gohan Future or Trunks Future card is in a battle, uh, use this card from under Destroy West City in your battle area in a combo. Then you choose one of your opponent's battle cards or unisons, and it gets minus 5,000 power for the turn. So, like if your opponent's swinging with a battle card, going for that game swing, they combo up. You go, cool, I'm activate battle on all four of these cards, and then when this one's proc, I will neg that one by additional 5k. So I think that's pretty cool. Going into the Gohan engines, we got the kind of the SR, which is in my opinion, the best of them all. Activate main for one energy. If your leader is red and you have two more energy, you and you have a Z extra in your battle area, you draw one card and you play this card. So it replaces itself on play. It's a 1K to play, but it does have an activate main. If you have three more energy, you switch this card to active mode and this card gains uh, double strike for the turn. And then uh, you also choose one of your opponent's battle cards or unison gets minus 20,000 power for the turn. The thing about this one is that Unlike it getting the two double strikes back to back, it's only getting uh, one attack in and then the second attack will be a double strike. So initially you can do three damage for one energy because you use the leader's ability obviously to reduce the cost. But the other Gohans we play, they both have the activate main for one red energy. If your leader is red set Gohan or uh, Gohanks, two more energy, you can play this card for him as well. But the activate mains are different. So 
For self-taught combo attack, you draw one and you switch to card act mode, initially making a dual attack that draws like so you one card. And then we have the um, resistant, re resisting evil, which draws you a card and then you choose one of your opponent's uh, battle card you're using and gets minus two, that's the power of a turn. That was just for clearing the board slash pressure. Um, sorry, just clearing your opponent's board. For this particular build, I do play one more Gohan. It isn't a future Gohan, it's just a promo, but it is, you know, it's just, it's a good red. So this deck did come with a way of kind of, um, I don't want to say recovery, but a way to guarantee kind of a turn one setup. So there is a Bulma uh, future support. If you play this card, you get to draw one card, which is nice, but it has, it has an activate main. If your leader is red card, both Gohan, future trunks, future Gohanks, um, and you discard this card from your hand, look up top five cards of your deck, add up to one Saiyan or Earthly card, which costs four or less. The each of your deck, and you place one red trunks future card, or place up to one uh, red future trunks future card from your hand under a destroyed west in your battle. So it kind of helps you get more cards set up underneath her, and you don't even have to do that if you really don't want to. But the idea that you can search for a four or less red Saiyan or Earthling card is kind of nice. And because this build is kind of the archetype theme of it, uh, I did just choose the Bulmas that came with the set because, hey, why not? Obviously, you pick, in my opinion, the Raditz. It's a lot. It's a, be able to just putting one card away and drawing two more is great, or even going the Beerus route to... Um, be able to combo even after you've awakened because you go down to six life when you if you awaken using the alternative way route and then we have two cards that get a nice little draw so vegeta when play gets a draw card but it's autos if your leader is red saiyan card and you place one card from under a destroyed west city uh in your battle area it's your drop when this card's uh in your hand is used to come you get to draw one card so sometimes you could even you could put any Saiyan card underneath the destroyed West City. So you can actually put one of these Vegeta's down and then combo with another one, or even combo with the Goku, which is practically the equivalent. Um, it doesn't get the um, draw one on play, it's more of a searcher on play, but they both have the same secondary auto. If you combo from your hand, you can take one card from underneath West City, put it into your drop, and then you get to draw one card. So going to kind of like the boss monster, we do have the eight drop trunks, which is a dual attack. When this card attacks, add up to one card from your life to your hand, then use up to one red trunks future card and your cost of one from your drop and uh, from your drop and combo it. And that's really great because some of those trunks is, have those activate uh, battles that you could proc, then giving it a double strike, giving it a crit if you wanted to. And yeah, that's pretty nice. For two energy, you get to play this card if you if you have four more energy. And you can actually play this not only from your hand with that effect, but also from underneath the destroyed West Steam. So if you kind of just want to put it there and which is kind of like good against hand control because you're kind of presetting a lot of stuff up. And then the additional activate main for two energy, you draw one card, switch this card to active mode, then choose one of your opponent's battle cards or unisons, ignoring barrier, and he gets minus 35,000 power for the turn. That one's a little bit harder to do because, like, if you have four energy, you pay two to play this, it's a dual attack, then you could pay two more to kind of resand it to pop a card. Initially, you could just combo a trunks from underneath your uh, Destroy the West City and then give this particular uh, trunks the barrier effect. And keep in mind, this activate main wouldn't actually be um, one instead of two using the leader's ability. So you won't initially tap out if you do this either. It'd be three energy total you're spending. But good card overall. And then we got the secret rare from this set in this the secret is not bad. It probably wouldn't be the one I would actually go to in the end, but it is a double strike and then auto place one of your Z energy in a drop. When your opponent uses a combo, reduce the card's combo power to zero for the battle. So, I mean, if you're swinging for game and you have a ton of Z energy set up, and your opponent's like, cool, I have to combo cards to get past this auto and then I get to comp try to combo out of your attack. Uh, activate main for two energy, you get to play this, you have four more energy, and then it does have the activate main for two energy, switch this card to active mode, choose all of your opponent's battle cards, ignoring barrier, and those cards get minus 35,000 power for the turn. And once again, that's another effect that can initially be one energy instead of two energy because it is an activate skill. Uh, rounding things out, uh, we played three of the new Explosive Dance, which is just a great red floodgate. If for some reason you missed the memo, if your life is four or less and you have a Z extra in your battle area, your opponent can't attack with nine leader cards for the turn unless they place any number of their Z energy cards to their drop each time so that the total value of those cards power becomes greater than or equal to XX and where X is the power of the attacking card. So if someone have a 20,000 battle card, they have to get rid of cards that equate up to 20,000 power to be able to make that attack work. Red just got a really good floodgate with that with them fixing that. Because we play a lot of Saiyans, 
I felt like this was a good add. The uh, trios, the triple combination for activate main for one red energy, you choose one red sand card in your battle here, and you place this card. You play this card from your hand, and you place the chosen card underneath it. And the when this card attacks, you get to neg on your opponent's cards by thirty thousand by sending that card to your uh, drop. Outside that, we are playing in this particular build a couple of the King Vegeta imposing presence. You are playing a red sand. It's just a good negate in, in addition to the floodgate negate. We have testing oppositions, which could really just be switched out if you don't like the idea of blockers because there's a good enough negates going on for like the beers balls three the broly's surprise attack oh sorry surging attack because for one energy you're getting a 25k crit attack and then you're getting a draw last words i put this card back underneath back to the bottom of your deck and the last one at least we do have the omega shinron which for two energy if your leader is a red shadow dragon card or a red z leader and you have three more energy you can play this card it's a triple attack the power uh when this card's power would be reduced which i don't think anything in this deck would reduce it naturally but you have to activate battle choose up to one uh, battle card or unison and it gets minus 3000 power for the turn for each of your Z energy. Additionally, if your leader is a Z leader, choose up to one battle card or unison and gets minus 30,000 power for a turn. So that activate battle is really nice for popping two additional cards. This like says triple attack for two energy. And we do play the Z leader go Hanks in this deck. So it just works out that way, which is double strike one energy to play it out. If you have three or less life. Auto, when one of your red cards is used in a combo, you get to draw one card. Then you choose one of your opponent's battle cards or units and gets minus 5,000 power for the turn. It doesn't specify where that combo comes from. So when you activate the battle from the trunks underneath your Z extra card, this should proc that as well. And then the um, activate main slash battle, place one of your um, Z energy in your drop. During this turn, the next time you activate a Next time you activate on a Sun Gohan or, future, or Trunks future card in your battle area or combo area, you reduce the skill this cost by one. Initially, the exact same thing on the front side, or sorry, on the elite, um, the natural leader, but then you can te technically do this twice in one turn. You know, you use the skill then, then you Z you can use the skill again. And then I didn't really talk about, but there is a time machine departure. Active main, you place one of your red Trunks future cards with an energy cost of eight on the end of this card. Then you place this card from under a destroyed West City in your battle area on top of that card. Then at the start of your turn, which is the auto, you play up to one red Trunks future card with an energy cost of eight from your hand. Remove this card from top of a card in the battle area from game. And then you can't play any card other than red Trunks future card for the turn. And that is my um, kind of my archetype build for this deck. I did say I had one more build that I kind of was touch base on and i'm only gonna go over those changes real quick things i would kind of take uh change up but i took out the vegetas made it completely just the gokus um i changed some of the numbers of the trunks a little bit and the uh gohans and then i added the secret rare of my choice at the time is ss4 vegeto a light in the dark it's a quad strike for free you get to look at your opponent's hands you get the idea if you're gonna be able to get this attack off which is kind of nice and then i also added one of the sun goku piccolos our tribals uh, fighting together because it's innately a double strike card that can be dual attack and like I said, we kept we kept the four of the Gokus that if you combo, you can potentially draw a card. So yeah, like I don't know, I feel like those changes were a little bit nicer. And I changed some of the number other numbers here and there, but ultimately, uh, this is my current build I put on the screen right now for you to see. And I can't wait to actually get these cards and hopefully try, uh, get to play these more and more in more of a public settings. And maybe I'll, I don't know, get time to print some of these cards and then I can actually run some test games if you guys like to see that. But yeah, thanks for all tuning in and I hope you all enjoy this and maybe I'll do more of these later on the road. I don't know. We'll see. Bye.